Welcome back, everybody. It's time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And if you've been following along on the channel, we've been having a lot of discussion about the damage, uh, particularly from the main guns, since the Alpha 4 update came out. Well, I'm glad to report there is an update for that, and we're going to see that reflected in today's episode. You can see here Hotfix version 68, increased damage of the main guns. Reduce base accuracy for secondary guns. Uh, flooding should happen more often. Flooding will not be repaired as fast. Torpedo uh, protection reduced slightly. Uh, in increased base speed of torpedoes about two knots. Decreased penalty of electric torpedoes. Weight issues making ships, especially battle cruisers, too fast for their size have been resolved. A ship may still be designed to exceed the 40 knots, but with much greater sacrifices in armament and protection and a couple of other various things. So you see those there, so we're ready to dive in today. And with those updates in mind, we're going to go ahead and dive into the Design Your Own H-Class mission, uh, which is obviously meant to... Uh, it says here, create the continuation of the legendary Bismarck class. This would kind of be the updated version of Bismarck. We're going to take the boosted technology rather than the more funds. Uh, so that's going to give us $180 million with which to build this German H-class battleship. Now, I had previously, with the more funds option, built a uh, battleship. But we're going to try this now with what we've got available to us here. And obviously, the first things first are tower. So we're going to go with the best options for towers. And that's not going to allow us to go all the way up to the largest main guns, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just kind of looking for that sweet spot. These are Mark 5s all the way up to 15 inch though. So I feel like maybe that would be the way to go. If it's Yeah, it's going to allow that. Okay, and we're going to go with two barrels rather than three on each one of these. Got just enough room. I might have to scoot everything up. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, here's where we're at now. Um, we've got our dual 18-inch guns on the front and the rear. We're at 25 knots. We're almost at 120,000 tons of displacement. So this thing's a beast, of course. Um, we're going to have to get some secondaries on this thing, but not a lot of them because I'm going to run out of weight to be able to start throwing armor on this thing. I'm going with the long range, uh, stereoscopic rangefinder 5. We're going to try to keep him at a distance the best I can on this thing. So we're trying to find that sweet spot, of course, between weight and cost, and I think I've got it here. I've gone down to the diesel engine. Uh, the oil fuel fuel force boilers auxiliary two engine uh showing you the difference here auxiliary two to auxiliary three you have double the um, penalty on the engine costs uh so you know you suffer a little bit in terms of turning rate and things like that but that's not a huge deal for me i went down to krupp armor again krupp one to krupp two uh you only have a five percent difference in the weight and a ten percent difference in the strength but a huge bump in armor cost. So those are the kinds of things you have to find kind of those sweet spots for those changes. And I think I've got a spot that I'm pretty happy with. 18 inches of belt armor, 12 inches on the deck, 20 on the tower and the turret. You can see everything else there for yourself. Let's take this reimagined Bismarck out for a spin and see what happens. Not a lot of secondaries, just a few. I'm primarily concerned with being able to use my big guns to take these guys out. So here we go. We have one battleship up against two battleships, a battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, and six destroyers. We've got to sink the battleships to win this thing. So everybody else is kind of irrelevant compared to that main task. And we're going to try to keep as much at a distance as we possibly can to do that. I don't know exactly how far they are away, but we're going to find out. I'm not going to move too too close toward him. I'm going to mostly kind of rely on him coming toward me. Looks like we must have just got in range for him. So we get to take a look at our our new Bismarck here. Nice looking ship. Obviously, would look better if we had those extra secondaries on there. And usually I try to do that for aesthetic reasons, but I've chosen not to this time around. Let's get a look at our enemies. Battleships. Uh, you can see he's got those secondaries on those higher barbettes. Those are pretty cool that they have those. Although it's an interesting design there to have it kind of right into the back of that one. Got our first hit, but it was a deflection. 
We're at 31 kilometers. He's coming straight at me. Our reload time on our 18s is only 41 seconds. That's really pretty nice. And we've already switched targets. Really like to not do that. I'm going to try to stay at uh, broadside at least for now so I can keep all of my guns firing on him. It's nice we've already got a 12% chance to hit. Pretty good from that distance. Oh man, he just landed one right on my extended deck. Only 19 damage. All right, looks like his destroyers must be up front there, screening. Not even coming close right now. We are up to 15%. He's just now looks like he's getting his other guns turned around on me. And it looks like they've got 18s as well. That was what hit me was an 18 inch shell. Come on guys, let's get some hits. We'll see how this new damage model looks. He just nailed me again. I've got a 35.9% own cruise speed bonus right now. There's a nice hit. 114 damage right off the bat. Mid-deck penetration. got me down to 93% though. Those were 17s from that ship. We have to start scoring some hits here. If we can get past his screening. fighting the Americans this time. There are some beautiful hits. Real nice. Four hits, 379 damage. It's our distance now, down to 25 kilometers. We don't want to get too much closer. Going right in the right in the line here. Oh, nice ammo detonation. Okay, we gotta be careful now. Got a destroyer coming up this way. Let's go ahead and see if our secondaries can fire on that. Make sure they're able to hit him from here. Looks like they can. Man, I've taken a lot of damage already. Oh. Alright, his destroyers are coming at me now. Might have to.
have to switch our tactics for now. I don't think those few 8-inch guns are going to be enough to do this. They're not in range yet. But I got a 30% hit chance right now with my big gun, so I don't want to switch off of this battleship. It's not one of his heavy cruisers, is it? I guess we'll find out. Looks too big to be a heavy cruiser. There we go. Yeah, let's just keep shooting. All right, eight inch guns, time to open up. I'm down to 78% already. You're gonna have to be careful when those torpedoes start coming in. Okay, our eight inchers are starting to open up now. You know, at least sink this lead guy and then we can turn those 18 inch guns at least temporarily on the battleships or on the uh, destroyers that are coming in at me. Yeah, if that was a heavy cruiser, I think I probably would have sunk him by now with the number of hits I've had. I bet that's a battleship. Where are we at on identifying only 73%? I'll probably sink it before we identify it. We're going to have to start thinking about changing our movement here. Yeah, it's a battleship. Take him down. We're at 47% chance to hit now. Alright, he put his torpedoes in the water. start turning All right, we're starting to see some flood damage now. Looks like I did finally hit that lead destroyer, but not before they all got their torpedoes in the water. Just have to keep an eye out for those for now. I'm gonna watch on this side for a little bit. Still landing hits on that battleship, but haven't been able to finish them off. Man, this thing does not turn easily. Got another big hit. I think I might have just f finished that first destroyer. Yep. Got one. It says torpedo boat, but that's a destroyer. We just hadn't identified it yet. Now there's the Florida. Let's see how the Florida is doing now that we've identified one. So we're gonna have a little trouble aiming for a little bit here while we're maneuvering because of the torpedoes. that should get us safely away from them.
All right. I think we're probably out of danger now. Let's see if we can finish off one of these battleships. They're not easy targets, that's for sure. What's this here? That's a destroyer. Right, we're already targeting him with our secondaries. This is definitely a challenging mission. Going up against the whole fleet with one super battleship. And it's not like these are old technology either. I mean, we're facing guys with 17 and 18 inch guns. We're in a little closer than I'd like though at 23 kilometers. And if I have to do this one over again, I'll probably definitely go ahead and add additional secondaries to deal with these destroyers. I never did see the torpedoes that he launched the first time. And it looks like these guys probably just got theirs into the water. doing Florida's almost done what's he got back here those are probably his armored cruisers there we got the Florida but down to 59% in the process Gonna target these guys with everything? Looks like we might. Yep. <laughs> we just got that destroyer with an 18 inch shell. See if we do the same thing here. Alright, I gotta think about turning again. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rudder hard over. See if we can light up some more of these support ships. We got here a battle cruiser. I'm down to 49%. Right, let's get our big guns firing on this battle cruiser. Uh, um, probably a nice HE shell placed in the right spot will finish him off in one hit. Man, I don't know. I've just taken so much damage already and I've still got a couple of battleships to sink. down to 42%. I think we're going to have to be able to sink these guys a little faster. That's probably going to mean I'm going to need the triples. Going to have to drop down on armor and go with bigger guns, more firepower, more secondaries, or maybe sacrifice some speed for some more armor. Just build this thing like a tank. But we'll play this out a little bit longer. I'm still still afloat at 40%. Just there's so much still yet to be done. I don't think I'm going to have enough to do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're down to 39% now. I'm having a hard time turning the way I'd like. Can't even find the other battleships at this point. There they are. They're all the way back here. Yeah, I think the Chippewa might, might be done. And it's going to take one more hit to do it, probably. There it is. We're down to 34%, though. Three percent. There we go. We took out another destroyer. All right. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and start focusing my big guns on the battleships again. Kentucky's over here. My guns should already be kind of aimed in this direction, so it shouldn't take long to switch them over. We are going to have to switch them back over to auto so they can fire the APs on them. Nice start. All right, let's see if we can take down the Kentucky. This is a little painful for me. Most of my family's from Kentucky. <laughs> Very quickly getting, oh, we're down to just two. Oh, that's that's Kentucky that's down to just 201 shells. I've still got 390. All right, we might might be able to still pull this off if I can land some more good hits. We can keep doing that. Nice, nice, nice. We're at a 37% hit chance, so we should be landing hits pretty much with every salvo. Of 
course, they occasionally do that. So you can see with me dropping that, I, I, I dropped that speed a little bit because I was at about a 32% on cruise speed. Now you can see it's climbing back up 35, up over to 36. I'm down to 31% structural on my ship because I'm on fire all over the place at the moment. Got these armored cruisers coming in at me right now. You know what? Let's uh, see if we can knock these guys out real fast. I'm gonna try HE, but I might have to go with AP shells. We're only 13 kilometers out. Causing fires, but not doing much damage. There we go. <laughs> a couple AP shells, and we get a quick kill. The problem is, I'm having no trouble sinking the rest of his fleet, but I've got to get the battleships. If we can score another quick hit on this other armored cruiser, then we can refocus our efforts. Kentucky's in pretty bad shape already. I can't remember how many he had. Let me pause and take a look and see how many battleships there were. Okay, so there's just the two, so... All right, I'm feeling better about this then. Let's finish off the Huron. Actually, if we just finish off the Kentucky, that's it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the the main guns firing on Kentucky. We'll use our secondaries on Huron for now. Which we already are. Okay. And so even though... I'm only at 31% structurally. I still think I should be able to do this. Are we losing sight of everybody? How far out is he? 30 kilometers. He's trying to run. Probably gonna have to pursue here. All right, we just gotta take out the Kentucky. We'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit. There we go. Nice hits. Thirty-six percent. I'm down to 260 shells myself. We're not going to have a lot 
lot of success hitting him from this distance. 34 kilometers and climbing. And we just lost sight of him. Alright, we're going to have to hold our fire on our mains until we can catch up to this guy. I did sink the Huron, uh, so that takes out his other heavy cruiser. That really just leaves the battleship and the destroyers. So now the question is, can I catch the Kentucky before it stays forever out of my range? And I'm not so sure that I can. All right, it appears I'm not going to be able to catch him. I can only go 18 and a half knots, and he must be going faster than that because he's pulling away, and I can't seem to catch him. So we're going to go back to the drawing board and make the changes that I suggested and see if we can very quickly dispatch these two battleships. So I've added my triples instead of doubles for the 18-inch guns. Uh, I took away the anti-torpedo belt uh, just because I never even saw any torpedoes come at me, and I don't plan on being around long enough uh, in this mission for that to happen anyhow. Uh, and then we've added some 5-inch guns as well for a little uh, extra protection there. Uh, we're down under on cost. We're pretty close on weight. But I think these 12 18-inch guns should be enough to quickly take out these two battleships before I have to worry too much about everybody else. Okay, so here we go. He's over to the northwest this time. So we're going to go ahead and get our 30 times speed going as we get a little closer. And again, we're, I think, going to count on him coming toward me. So I'm not going to go too close toward him. And there he is. Let's go ahead and drop down to our speed that we want. See if we can nail these battleships in a hurry. So here's how it's going so far. I'm not going to show you the whole mission just because I don't want to drag this out too long. But... Uh, we've already got the first battleship down significantly. In fact, that latest salvo there really brought him down. I'm at 90%, but I've already nearly killed this first battleship. Uh, so you can see the huge difference that it makes to have the triples. Uh, because I'm so accurate, uh, you know, that's four extra shells every salvo that are being fired. And because of the accuracy, that's a lot more that are landing. So it's certainly worth it in this case uh, let's see the difference in the reload speed it's actually only a few seconds difference I think it was 41 or 42 seconds so for an extra four seconds I'm getting an extra four shells and big big difference being made because of that we're about to sink the first one without taking a, a too significant amount of damage in fact there he goes one down already I don't know if this is actually the battle cruiser or if it's his other battleship. We've got to find the other battleship. I think this is probably the other battleship. Looks like we've already nailed his first destroyer significantly. We are going to have to make a turn here because he's got his he's got his torpedoes in the water. So I'm going to start turning, which is going to temporarily reduce the amount of fire I'm able to put on this other battleship. Oh, man, I already took out the battle. No, that was the other battleship. Are you kidding me? Okay, so looks like we got an ammo detonation. I sank both battleships in about five minutes of my time. I know it was longer than that in the mission, but there you have it. 18-inch uh, shells, triple turrets seem to be the way to go. Uh, very quickly dispatched that mission on the H-Class. So let me know your thoughts about all that. And use the comment section below, and we'll be back again in the next couple of days with some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Thanks for watching.